Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's topic is hunger. What is hunger? When should you eat? When you should not eat? So, do not miss. It is very important. Many a times we are eating while we are not hungry. And that is when we are damaging our health. Take some notes. Follow me till the end and keep watching this video till the end. Hunger is a disease and food is its treatment. That is a very famous phrase said in the Vedic system of medicine and it is true. When you are very hungry, you eat, food becomes like a medicine. It gives you power, it gives you energy, it heals you, satisfies you and that is all what you need. If you are not hungry and you are eating, it is something you are pouring extra into your body. It will cause problems, it will cause trouble. Many times you are hungry and you eat but you eat the wrong things, they give you problem, they give you, they put you in trouble. So many people, if they are allergic to certain foods, they eat them, they get allergies. If gluten causes you allergy, do not eat grains. If you are allergic to dairy products, do not take dairy products at all. If you are intolerant to lactose, do not drink milk. So, what is the rule? The rule is, eat when you are hungry and eat what is suitable to you. So, I can safely say, if you have problem with certain types of food, then avoiding those foods is your treatment. If you have issues with certain foods, then avoiding those foods is your treatment. So, as I said, there are people who are extremely allergic to nuts, peanuts particularly. A small dose can cause fatal reactions. So, food is a treatment of hunger. What food which is suitable for you, which is good for you? Now, the amount of food. Amount of food is not determined by the amount of hunger. If you are extremely hungry, and you can, let's say, digest approximately two pounds by weight of food, a combo of food, then that food is your food. That food is what your body needs. Whenever you are hungry, you will feel warmth in your body. You will have an urge to eat. And whenever you will eat, you will eat up to your satisfaction and then you will digest that food. If you cannot digest that food, it means you have a false hunger, you are not hungry at all. So, we have to differentiate between a true hunger and a false hunger. So, by true hunger, I mean, let's say, if I can digest two pounds of food, that is my food, that is my meal, that should be my meal. And any time when I am hungry, I should eat the similar amount of food every time. So now, let's say there is a situation that, oh, I feel hungry and I eat half a pound. I eat just a piece of bread. I eat just some bacon. I eat just some eggs and, uh, and then I feel I am satisfied. I am okay. That was not my hunger. That means what? That means that 
still the undigested or partially digested food is staying into my system digestive tract somewhere in the stomach or in the jejunum or in the duodenum or in the ileum and I pour some more so that partially digested food now will become poison because body cannot properly digest that and I have put another pressure in my stomach to have some more this will delay this will further delay the process of digestion and it is not good for health so I can say safely that your hunger is when you eat the maximum amount of food that you can digest if you are not that hungry then do not eat no matter if it is an interval of a day two days three days it does not impact it will never impact your health you will still be healthy you will still be very good so what should be the appropriate interval between two foods between two meals frankly speaking I will say that it takes almost 12 hours for one food to be digested completely in the stomach in the duodenum in the jejunum in the ileum and then in the colons and till as a residue it reaches to the descending colon it will take 12 hours so the next meal should not be eaten until the first meal is completely digested and absorbed and taken up by the portocable system and uh, has been processed into the liver okay you can at least have to wait about six to eight hours still to eat another meal before six to eight hours no 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 your meal is still present into your stomach or intestines and when you will put some more you will make yourself sick so three meals with an interval of six to eight hours are okay but the safest is two meals a day with an interval of 12 hours and in between those intervals you can have some water a lot of water I will say or some things like tea or other drinks hot drinks but plain water is the best now how much so the amount of the food everyone is specific in its own your food will be different than mine mine food will be different than him or her the amount of food is specific for person to person the quantity and the quality first of all the food should be very nicely cooked it should be cooked very greatly and it should taste very good it should be optimum to your taste if the food does not taste good your body will not accept it it will not digest it it will not extract the maximum benefits out of this food so it is useless to eat anything which is not tasty for yourself it should be properly cooked it should be tasty it should be adequate and there should be no overeating when you feel satisfied then stop eating I hope you have understood what is hunger what is food how much should be the spacing between two meals and in between those meals to me there is no concept of snacks 
the only snack you can have is water 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 morning snack evening snack late night snack all the snacks they are called simple plain water and how you should drink water i will not say you should drink water i must say you should eat water so what what does that mean by eating water that means drink slowly take a sip of water circulate it into your oral cavity into your mouth so that a lot of saliva goes and mixes with water and then drink then take another sip after some time then another sip after some time keep drinking 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 the whole day are the time between two meals and another sign of good hunger is that whenever you will eat food you will feel warmth in your hands you will feel warmth in your ears and ear lobules they become red and warm that means you are having a real hunger so two meals a day or if you are athlete if you exercise a lot if you move a lot and you feel hungry or if it is um, long days of summer and you feel hungry at the noon then an interval of six to eight hours is still required between the morning breakfast which should be very early in the morning and then you can have a lunch around one o'clock and the dinner should be around seven and then till next six or seven you are good so guys i hope you like the topic you understood the hunger and food if you like please subscribe the channel hit the bell icon and share it to your friends thank you very much